Hi, this is Dr. Graves, Cal State Northridge Geography Department, and this is the first in a series of maybe three uh, video tutorials re for Geography 102. We'll be examining how to do um, suitability analysis to reintroduce grizzly bears into California. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is launch. Uh, my CSUN software, you're going to see I'm typing it into the URL window in the upper left hand corner and I'm going to log on and start ArcMap. Once again, allowing and opening and permitting are the actions you need to take. When you get to this window, you probably won't see um, the Grizzly Lab, so click uh, Cancel here. Go to File, Open, and click on Computer, Geography Share, Open, Geography 102, Open, Grizzly, Open, and Grizzly, Open. Okay, what you should see when you open this project is uh, several layers. Only two of them will be turned on by default. Uh, the top layer is the California counties uh, layer, and then a map of the trout range. I'm going to turn the California counties layer off here, and this is a map of where one can find trout in California. Um, you may turn other layers on and off. Uh, these black areas here on the map are uh, cities. You can turn on and off the highway layer. Uh, you may be interested in uh, wilderness regions in California. This is essentially the areas of uh, parks or large recreational areas uh, that might be good bear habitat. Uh, there's a vector layer, and you'll learn about that, of the dominant vegetation types in California and then there's a couple of other maps that I have made for you um, that you will replicate this sort of uh, mapping strategy uh, later down the road this is a raster uh, a rasterized version of the dominant vegetation layer and this last one are the cities and highway map that have been converted to raster. So you may want to turn these on and off just to familiarize yourself uh, with the layers that are available, but we will work at least for the moment with this layer. You are asked to answer a question. Click on the identify button and you are to identify a place with no trout. If you um, Look at this range here. You expand the trout vector map. You will notice that the area in gray, and you can turn it to another color. Now it's in pink. And now we'll turn it back to, to gray. That that area has no trout. Turn back on the California counties layer and answer a question. OK, so the first thing that you're going to do is to change this trout range vector map into a raster map. Vector maps and raster maps have different qualities and characteristics. They each allow us to do different types of analyses. So one of the strategies you're going to learn today is how to convert a vector map, which is what you see in front of you, into a raster map. Now most of you will have uh, this also in front of you so be sure to read through this and understand what you are doing before you continue. What are the steps to converting uh, vector to raster? The first thing you'll need to do is to click on customize and click on extensions. The extension that needs to be 
activated is one called Spatial Analyst. So click on the check mark and click close and you should be okay. The next thing to do is to open the raster conversion tool. So click on Arc Toolbox, expand the conversion tool box, select to raster toolkit, and select polygon to raster. The trout vector map, it's a polygon map, we want to turn that to a rasterized version. So you may double click on Polygon to Raster to open the Polygon to Raster tool, the input feature that you're going to use from the drop-down menu is the Trout Range Vector Map. Select it by clicking on it. From the Value field, it is Species because we want to map the species of trouts. The output the layer that you have will be in this file folder on this drive. This is your personal desktop with the virtual software lab and your file should be called California Trout to Polygon to Raster just like that. Mine will have a different number, two or three, uh, because I've already done this once again the rest of these fields are good as they are. Before you move on though, you will need to set the environments, essentially changing what will be done. So click on the environments button, expand the processing extent window, and tell it to process only as the same layer of, as California counties, and then you may shrink that come down to raster analysis and tell it to mask everything that is not beyond the California counties. So what that does is narrows what is being rasterized or converted. So only the area within California will the computer pay attention to. So click OK and then you may click OK a second time and wait a moment as the tool operates. Eventually a small window should appear at the bottom right of your screen. Polygon to raster has been completed. There's a green check mark and if you uncheck the vector version of the trout range species map you will see that the conversion has occurred. You can turn them back on and off and see how this process has worked. I'm going to zoom in closely on one area of California and turn the trout range map back on and off and you can see now what the process has been that led to the rasterization. If you click on the information button or the identify button and click in one of these rasterized grid cells, you will notice that only the pixel value, which is pixel 13, and species name is none. If you click over here in a different area, you will see that the pixel value is 12 and that the species is listed as steelhead rainbow trout, or at least that is on my map. I'm going to click on the back button to zoom back out to all of California. Um, and just for my own comfort, I like to change those areas with no trout, which is in this area. I want to change that species or that area to gray because that indicates to me that there is no trout there. So I've changed the color and now I have gray again to indicate no species. At this point you're asked to answer at least one question just to make sure that you're on track. Use the identify tool to click in the southeastern corner of California and answer a question related to 
the pop-up window. Okay, uh, after you have answered that question, you will pause and uh, open a second YouTube video that will have uh, the part two of this lab uh, 